Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, the man is going to be making his UFC debut next Wednesday in South Dakota. He's going to take on Alex Nicholson. This fight's going to be a part of the preliminary card on UFC Fight Pass. It's Devin Clark. Devin, uh, as always, man, I appreciate time. And, and just to kind of throw this out there, because I, I do think there, there's a little confusion out there from fans. You are fighting at 185 in this fight, not 205. And obviously everyone remembers kind of that, that scene during, uh, you know, Dana White's reality show looking for a fight. To, you know, first off, yeah. you know, when you have that and, and obviously you're, you, you have been looking for that type of offer, what goes through your mindset when, when Dana White says to you, uh, yeah, you're an 85er? Oh, uh, well, it wasn't the first time I had heard that from people. Um, I'm not the biggest at 205. So when he told me, you know, in our first conversation, when he told me I was the 85er, I kind of expected that. So, you know, it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, and like I told him, I'll do whatever it takes to, to get in. And 85 is not too much of a stretch for me. Just uh, had to adjust a few things with the diet. And, you know, now we're here. A few days are about a week out. And, you know, I'm going to make that weight. So. You know, they, there's always, you know, they, they talk about, uh, the UFC jitters, but I, I got, do you feel any additional pressure with your, your UFC debut also being in your, in, uh, in South Dakota? Uh, I do not. Uh, everything just, uh, seems pretty, pretty normal for me. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with it. Is it just, you know, it's another fight in my hometown. My last three fights have been here. So, um, it's kind of just, uh, part of the routine, I suppose. And then uh, I was just down in Albuquerque working with uh, at uh, Jackson Wink MMA, working with John Jones and all those guys. So when you work with people like that, it, you know that takes a you know a lot of pressure and everything else off off because you know you're working with the best and it's easy to be confident going into a fight. That was actually going to be my next question because your management team had told me that you went down the Jackson Winkle John and, and also you and John Jones developed a little bit of a relationship there, from what I understand. Um, yeah, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not the smallest guy either. So it, it worked good for me to, uh, be one of his practice partners and, you know, get sparring in with him and everything. And you know, I was able to give him a good look for his upcoming fight. Uh, you know, me being a wrestler and having some of the, you know, same concepts that, uh, Cormier has. So, and, uh, so yeah, I was able to give him some good looks and stuff and we able to grind hard and, that was a good deal. Is it when you when you have that ability to, to go to a gym like like Jackson Wink and you know you look around it's a who's who of fighters that are in the UFC and, and working with a guy like John Jones is there anything that you take away from that is it is it maybe more mental as opposed to physical just kind of you know maybe it's just observing what you know all these high high level MMA fighters are doing to take their game to the next level. Well, it's uh, at first it's a little surreal. Is that, you know, that's something, once you start the sport and you're looking to go into the UFC, you know, that's kind of a dream or whatever, or a goal. And just to be there in that moment, or surrounded by all these guys that have made names for themselves and have done great things. I mean, John, he's you know, won the belt nine times over. <laughs> and, like, just being in the same room as him, let alone sparring with him and getting working with him, um, you know, it's... Uh, you definitely take a lot away from that. It's, uh, you know, yeah, I definitely learned a lot, you know, especially the mental side of it, um, the ins and outs of, of what they do and how they go, how they approach a fight and stuff like that. So definitely helped a lot. And your opponent coming up here uh, next Wednesday night uh, in South Dakota, Alex Nicholson, who at one time fought at heavyweight, made his UFC debut as a light heavyweight, and now going down – to to the middleweight division, you know, when you're when you're facing a guy that obviously as far as big as he has, what are physically speaking, what are some of the challenges that you think that that size is going to have for you in this fight? Um, none at all, really. Uh, like I said, I've been training with John John Jones, and he's six four as well. And you know, there's only one John Jones, so you know he's not the, the easiest guy to uh, control and stuff like that. So just working with him, and there's plenty of other big guys down there as well. And, uh, you know, we worked a lot um, on uh, grappling and controlling the guy as well as controlling with striking. 
So, I mean, I don't think it'll be an issue at all. Um, and, yeah, I don't see this guy being stronger than anybody I've been, been training with. And as well as the guys that I train with back here in Sioux Falls, you know, my one of my main partners, he's 240, 6'3", so, and definitely stronger than my opponent. So, um, I don't see any issue with his size at all. Once again, we're joined by Devin Clark, who's going to be making his UFC debut next Wednesday night, UFC Fight Night 91. Of course, the main card will air starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on FS1. Devin will be a part of the Fight Pass prelims. Of course, uh, you can check that out, UFCFightPass.com. Do you do you like the fact that uh, you're, you're at the start of the fight card as opposed to uh, later on, the fact that you'll, you'll be able to kind of you know just get to the, the arena be able to, to get your fight in and be done? Or is it one of those things of you, you, you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm here, I'm happy I'm starting the night, but ultimately the goal is you want to be the last uh, fight of the night? Uh, I, I kind of like it. I mean, I haven't uh, been in that situation in a little while here. So um, my last fight I fought at 11 o'clock at night. It was the main event. And, you know, that, that night kind of it starts to drag, drag on when you're the last fight. So it, it's, it'll be nice to just get in there right away, get the event started the right way, you know, get get fireworks going right away, get the crowd going. Um, it's still a hometown fight, so I'm definitely going to do my best to get the crowd crowd into it. And, you know, they're going to see a fight right away. You know, we're not going to um, take it slow by any means. So, How do you, you know, when you're obviously fighting your hometown and obviously it's going to be under the lights of the UFC, how do you balance to make sure that, you know, yes, you want to put on a show that that's going to make the you know the fans and attendants happy, uh, you know all the UFC executives happy, but also finding that balance of, of making sure that um, you're, you're not being reckless in the fight to where uh, you know you might be you know creating some openings for your opponent. Um, well, I've been able to kind of in my past fights to shut out everything else. Um, when, once I get in that cage, you know I'm 100 percent focused. I'm focused on winning the fight. Uh, usually I can, you know, as the round, first round goes on, I can figure out what it's going to take to win the fight. And, you know, as long as I do um, stay 100% true to my game, it'll be an exciting fight either way. So, you know, whether um, whether I get in a sticky situation or not, or if I see a situation where I can capitalize on, I'm going to take it. So um, I never really think about anybody else when I'm in there. It's all 100% win the fight, move on to the next one. What do you see as a key to victory for yourself in this fight? I mean, you know, some guys will say, you know, hey, I've got to, I got to control the pace. Uh, I got to make sure I'm using my footwork or, you know, make sure that, I, you know, I'm controlling the octagon. For you, what, what do you see as a major key to victory for you here? Uh, just fighting my fight, and that's pretty much all of the above there. Um, just doing what I know how to do, which is, which is control wrestle um you know i've been working on my striking so i don't see an issue with my striking at all use my striking to get in with my wrestling then you know use my wrestling to get in with my striking so um just using everything utilizing all my all my skills and uh you know just push the pace uh keep the pressure on him and uh yeah so that should uh you know that should help me with the victory you know, obviously, this is uh, the UFC's debut in South Dakota. RFA, who you fought before, they they gone there a couple of times. What's uh, what's the, the the MMA fan base like in South Dakota? And I mean, I gotta imagine they're they're just uh, they they can't wait for next Wednesday to get here. Yeah, I mean, the fan since we since the RFA first came into town, that was the first sanctioned fight ever in South Dakota history. So since then, the fan base has grown. You know, it's it's gotten pretty huge now. And everybody, you know, everybody I've talked to, they're excited to watch the fight. They're excited that, you know, a couple of hometown guys are in, are in the UFC and that the UFC actually came to Sioux Falls. Um, so, I mean, for UFC's first time here, it's a, it's a great opportunity for the city um, as well as for me and uh, Ben Nguyen, which is also a local fighter. He's from South Dakota. So it's a pretty cool deal all around. Outside of the fight, we all know you're you're excited for the fight and and to step into the UFC cage. Is, is there something about fight week you're you, you can't wait for? I mean, besides the actual fight. Uh you know, I don't know. Just uh, just getting in there and fighting. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I always like a good test, so um, this is the highest test I've had so far 
fighting for the you know the top promotion in the world. So um, you know, get through this one, and then uh, after that, I'm definitely looking forward to you know uh, eating a big cheesecake or something like that. <laughs> Uh, eating, cutting, cutting down 85 has its pros and cons, uh, and not eating, not being able to eat like a fat kid like I used to is one of them. So, because of cutting down to 185, have have you brought anybody in to kind of you know maybe you know I've talked to a couple other fighters say you know you know taking nutrition a little more serious and, and maybe they're eating something now they never ate. I mean, did you bring anybody in to kind of? Yeah, maybe more is maybe just to educate yourself of of, of the type of things you need to be putting in your body. Uh, no, I just, uh, me and my trainer, Matt Dolan, at Ford Strength in Sioux Falls, you know, we work close together. He, uh, he he gives me all the tips I need for, you know, for my weight cut and whatnot. And, you know, he just keeps a close eye on me. And and we've only had to adjust a few things, um, you know, mainly just carb control. Because when I was fighting at 205, I was a little small for the weight class. So I was pretty much eating like a football player, <laughs> you know, <laughs> carbs every day and, you know, you know, couldn't get enough carbs and stuff like that. So uh, cutting down to 85, we just have to keep an eye on that and, uh, you know, eat smart meals. Uh, and then, you know, um, the timing of the meals is also important. So we're just getting the right things in before the right workouts and, and stuff like that. So just some small adjustments that we had to had to make and, you know, so it's going pretty good. And, of course, you'll be able to see Devin make his UFC debut coming up next Wednesday, UFC Fight Night 91. He'll be a part of the preliminary card on UFC Fight Pass. He's going to be taking on Alex Nicholson. Devin, as always, man, appreciate time, and good luck in your UFC debut. Thank you. I appreciate it.